how important is it for all of us to live our purpose? First off, find our purpose. You know, you can speak to people any day of the week and you can ask them. It doesn't matter if they are 18 years old or 58 years old. You ask them just a regular question. What is it you want to do with your life? And most of them have to scratch their head because they don't know, or maybe they never sat quiet enough and was well, still enough, long enough to figure out your life purpose. Does financial freedoms, a uh, 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 successful life, spiritual growth, does it all begin with living your life's purpose? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as life purpose. There's such thing as an evolving purpose. Oh, I love that. I love that. Elaborate. Okay. Because I see, again, a lot of training seminars out there uh, that teach people, I'll help you find your life purpose. But if I were to take you for 50 years of my life, in any moment in my life, I had a purpose. I just did not know it. I had a purpose. Mm -hmm. So we all have a purpose in any moment. But this illusion that you don't is what makes people even go deeper into depression. Correct. Meaning, if you're a parent right now, do I have to tell you that you have to bring up your children? No, I don't. You know it's your duty for you to bring your children. Okay? So uh, a lot of people try to mimic. The problem with uh, the environment around you is that you get so much choice. And then you don't know who your true self is. And therefore, you're seeking something outside of yourself. Or you may be comparing yourself with somebody who does not have your trajectory of life path. You know, I get people saying to me, I'm a business coach like you. I said, really? <laughs> and then I start asking them five questions and they stop. Then they say to me, I'm a life coach like you. And I go back, really? I ask them a few questions. They not. Then they said to me, I'm a healer like you. And I said, really? I ask them five questions. They not. So, you know, we tend to say to ourselves those, uh, I would say, uh, lies. And eventually the more we say to ourselves that maybe it becomes truth until an expert like me comes and breaks those illusions. And then you go back to your original truth. And to get you to whatever purpose you want to be in life, your purpose, you can design it. The beauty about who you are, you can create any purpose you want. If you have the ingredients or if that calling from within you is telling you, do this. You know, I, have, I, could, tur I could turn around in here and I'll say to you, okay, I'm going to become one of the top singers. Well, that's not my purpose. So therefore, I cannot bullshit you about how amazing singer I am. Mm -hmm. But I can exactly tell you about what these 50 years have taught me that I can provide a lot of solution to millions of people in the world. So, you know, we need to be in alignment with what we can give and then consistently grow within ourselves. And every time we master something, we are ready to teach somebody else. And that purpose, it's all dependent on your psychology, especially your values. Most people tell me they know what they value, but with few questions that I've created a system and also I've learned many other methods that people teach, but I've created my own system now because I brought this, uh, I would say, spiritual and material intelligence together because you need those both in order for you to find your purpose in that moment and then evolve that purpose. So with certain set of questions, I get people there and then to realize that's their purpose. They're in front of them. And if they have a bigger calling, whether it's like financial freedom, then I have to reshuffle the entire psychology to be in alignment with that which they want. You know, most people want something, but their psychology is not in alignment. Their actions is not in alignment. Their behaviors are not in alignment. Yeah. Their beliefs are not in alignment. So for me, this is like the difference between living a fantasy world and being real and being purposeful and having clarity what your values are and what your mission, vision, purpose statements is clear that demonstrates your life around you demonstrates that. If your life does not demonstrate that, you are bullshitting yourself, that you are on purpose. Wow. So I should stop looking at even myself. And as I'm listening to you speak, I'm like, you know, this guy is right on. I, I actually feel like I should be paying you for this session right now. <laughs> it's like you're dropping so much gems on me. It's insane. But when we say we're living our life purpose, from now on, I'm going to scratch that. Because our purpose is always evolving. And at 
any point in our life, because we're never the same, we're like nature, we're always changing, so does our purpose. Did I get that correct? 100% correct. And actually, I coined the term ever evolving purpose after going through so many seminars around the world when I realized a lot of people are bullshitting people and people are paying for that. Yes, they are. I said, I don't want to be this kind of teacher. I want to bring true intelligence to people, truth that resonates with them and transforms, creates total transformation in their lives, not bullshit transformation. Then five years down the line, they come back to me and they say, I resent you for not teaching them the truth when they realize the truth. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.